Roundabouts have several distinguishing characteristics and benefits, setting them apart from other intersection types. Traffic can move freely through roundabouts. This makes them more efficient than signalized or stop-controlled intersections. Unlike other types of intersections, roundabouts are designed to slow the speed of vehicles entering by deflecting them from a straight line path into the roundabout. Drivers approaching the roundabout have time to judge for gaps in the circulating traffic and either yield or adjust their speed before entering the intersection. This allows for safer entries into circulating traffic. In addition to channelized approaches, signs and pavement markings on the roadway guide drivers to make sure they take the proper entry path. Roundabout intersections can require additional space compared to a traditional intersection, but they may be constructed within the existing right-of-way. Roundabouts eliminate dangerous left turns across opposing traffic lanes and virtually eliminate high-speed right angle and head-on crashes. While initial construction costs can be higher with roundabouts, they often have lower operating and maintenance costs than signalized intersections. They can have ongoing costs for lighting and maintaining the landscaping, but unlike a signalized intersection, there is no signal equipment to install, power, and maintain. Roundabouts have longer service lives than traditional intersections, resulting in better economic value over the long term, especially when you factor in the reduction of fatal and injury crashes. Roundabouts are also the greenest intersection alternative, and not only because of their aesthetic appeal. Reduced vehicle idling means fewer emissions and less wasted fuel. Less acceleration and fewer sudden hard stops means quieter, more peaceful transportation through communities. Landscaping in the Central Island, Splitter Islands, and along the approaches can further benefit and enhance community livability. With all of these benefits, why aren't all transportation agencies building modern roundabout intersections? One of the biggest reasons transportation agencies overlook this proven intersection safety solution is out of concern that the public just won't accept them. Trying one roundabout is usually all it takes to convince even the biggest skeptic of their benefits. In the 12 years the department has been building roundabouts, we've had our share of skeptics. But what we found is after the roundabout is built, the skeptics become supportive of the idea, which is a tribute to the time savings and the safety benefits that a roundabout offers. Some states now have roundabout policies that state that roundabouts should be considered as an intersection alternative. Numerous states like Washington and cities across the country like Carmel, Indiana, have embraced roundabouts and support their development. Washington State now has more than 150 roundabouts, and the city of Carmel, Indiana alone has more than 50 roundabouts with many more planned. We were one of the first communities in the Midwest to build roundabouts and make the determination that they work better than stoplights in many, many cases. A common concern for people that have not experienced driving through a properly designed roundabout is that they won't be able to get used to the new traffic pattern. But studies consistently show just the opposite. The public overwhelmingly supports roundabouts after they are constructed. Older Americans in particular are supportive of roundabouts. By 2025, a quarter of all drivers in the United States will be over the age of 65. Intersections are the single most dangerous traffic environment for drivers of any age, with left-hand turns being the single most dangerous traffic maneuver that any of us can make. 40% of all crashes that involve drivers over the age of 65 occur at intersections. This is nearly twice the rate of experienced younger drivers. AARP would like to see more roundabouts constructed because of the many safety benefits that they present for drivers of all ages. As with all new traffic treatments, thorough public education, effective signing, and pavement markings are key to educating all drivers on new traffic patterns.